Okay guys, welcome to another video. I know I haven't been doing videos for a long time, but I have been um helping some people and, and making some cool stuff with uh, the source code of Catacomb Snatch. We added a heap of stuff and that's why I'm doing this quick video because I'm going to continue um like leading the, reading the threads and helping people. So um let's start um, this in debug mode. So we can actually Okay. So we made this menu kind of thing and um, so the how to play was added which is pretty cool and then um, also the join and the host now fully works Oh, hosts um, so you can choose between a heap of maps we added a heap of maps and also um, we made it so that the game um, generates a folder um, thank you for everyone who helped it in the in the github page like really it's getting pretty awesome so yeah you now have nine maps i made most of the maps but these maps are, um, are not made by me so i made well this is the the basic map and i made these maps but anyway let's um let's play a random map here let's go for i don't know um let's go for this map so i'm going to do a playthrough in this map on the normal difficulty and hopefully we can we can get it working so this is the person and he can shoot stuff and yeah you guys oh you got oh what the oh, oh oh crap I pressed the wrong button here sorry um let's try that one again normal difficulty it's still being worked on as you can see there are still bugs and if you do some wrong stuff you can get a heap of bugs like, not a heap but you can get bugs so basically this is the normal game as you can see right now um, there's not much difference between um, the only thing we, we changed was bug fixes and um, yeah but basically what you have to do in this game is you you kill as much monsters as possible um, actually let's put that on low that I can still hear because um, there's something wrong with my recording and you guys won't be able to hear the sound for some random reason but anyway so in the beginning you have to kill all these monsters so you do it like this and then you get all these coins and with all these coins you can buy machines and uh, buildings and stuff like turrets that shoot for you and the actual point of the map is to ah they're annoying me get out okay I'm running off here um so but yeah let's let's talk about um I'll talk about how to win after I get something set up here but um firstly I want to talk a little bit about the changes um we did um one of the like big changes is um that instead of having to shoot with spacebar you can now uh, turn around with your mouse and shoot with left click which is pretty cool um then also the map gear you saw, um, because in the original game Notch Mate and, and Mojang Mate, uh, you could only play one map. So um, there were maps added, and also the picture that renders how the map looks, which is also pretty cool. Um, there's an option menu coming in soon. Um, there's also several bug fixes working on the GUI, and uh, also the ability to upgrade um, your uh, your building. So, for example, oh, damn it die okay now we really need to get some buildings running because they're doing damn annoying okay so you can buy buildings like this and then we also added the health bar so you can actually see how much health your turret has and we don't want him to die right here so let's let's actually defend him um oh, come on um, but yeah, basically we we have doing we are doing a lot of additions to the game. It's getting really cool, and my turret is never going to survive so many monsters. I need to make another one. Actually, let's upgrade it. You can upgrade your turret with the F button, but that's something um, we added, so you won't be able to do that if you have the the normal like unpatched or unmodded version or whatever you want to call it. So let's buy one more turret here because we want to defend ourselves. Um, yeah, so we're adding a mo an option menu with changeable keys and changeable resolutions because right now the the screen is locked on, like, um, I would say half a full screen because there's like still half left, um, which is not that cool because if you want to do like YouTube videos and stuff, you have to um, go editing and go cutting uh, parts of the video, which is not cool. But yeah, let's let's try get ourselves 
a little bit running here. Um, it's going to take a long time for us to survive this, probably. You have to shoot so many monsters in this map. Okay. So all the maps you can download at the GitHub page. I will uh, put a link in the description. Let's actually upgrade this one and put it over there. And then maybe because this is a strong one, put it over there and then we can have this turret to defend ourselves a little bit at this side and then another one to defend ourselves at the other side. Okay, so like this. Get some more coins running. So yeah, you can upgrade them three levels. Um, you can upgrade your turret and your harvester. And um, so yeah, this is the spawn points, which you can sell uh, by bombs, harvesters. And also the plan is to make rails. And you have to make your rails. Let me just run over there because I already found the place. Um, that is basically how you win. So you play, you place the rails until you get to the middle resource, uh, the resource style. Yeah, it doesn't really have a name. Um, so you have to go get over there, and then you connect your rails, and then you can um, make uh, one of these ro rail droids. And the rail droids will um, go over the rails and continue going from the resource to back to your house. And whatever you got, fifty of their orbs. So fifty times they have to go there and back then you will win the game. You can play it as a multiplayer, um, the port forward is 3000, so if you do not want to use Hamashi, 3000 is the port you want to use. Um, oh, come on. This way I'm never going to get some progress running, come on, I'll die. And we also added like a menu that whenever like you have not enough money to buy something, uh, you will see a message saying you have not enough money to buy this or insufficient, insufficient, yeah, insufficient is the word. Um, so that is also pretty cool, I think. Oh, we also fix the bug. Like if in the normal version, if you would do this and then you would delete this one, the the cross thing, it would it would stay. It would just do not go back to normal. But if you delete it right now, it goes back to normal, which is pretty cool. So. Yeah, what we're doing basically is we're adding some new stuff. Basically, still vanilla stuff. We haven't like been adding huge improvements. I mean, the, the upgrading that was already in the source code, we just had to like tweak it a bit and activate it. Um, basically, the leader of the project is um, my school. He also he's the boss of like the GitHub page, and um, yeah, it's actually really cool to go um, coding. So if you are like, okay. Okay, this is the end of this episode. Um, <laughs> yeah, as I said, sometimes you can get some bugs, apparently. Um, um, yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, so basically if you if you feel like coding, like fixing this bug right here in the Mojang component, because there is the bug that happened. Um, if you want to fix this bug, I will put a link below to the GitHub page and what you want to do. If you want to help coding, or if you want to make some pictures, or if you want to do um, some graphics things, or if you just want to help with, with level making, or level generation, or A players, because we're adding heaps of stuff, um, make an issue at the GitHub page and um, you'll be able to help us. Um, we also have a website, I'll put the website link in the description, it's still being worked on. And also our forum is almost set up, so um, I'm going to make like a new video whenever um, an official build comes out, because as you can see this is totally not an official build, it's, well, it's just a source code I implemented in my uh, IDE, so I can change some stuff, but anyway, um, I hope you liked the video, um, comment, rate and uh, subscribe if you did, and uh, bye!